London is filled with visual testimony that brave men use guns to become heroes. But what if it turns out that you don't need a gun to be a hero? What if it turns out that all you need is a pig? What then? Right, it's me. I got. <laughs> that's where that that that's where the MP. That's where the government is. That's the that's. No, this is all people around here. That that's where that's that that's where they bang the table. That's where they were banging on the table when they passed the NHS bill. Inside there is where the pig, there are pigs in there, pigs. But today, today my friends, we're gonna go and find out where's daddy's pig? Where's daddy's pig? You see, they're in there representing us, representing us, why? Why would they represent us? Why would they sell off our NHS? Is that in our best interest? Is it in our best interest? Is it in the interest of children in the palliative care? Is it, is it in the best interest of people with cancer? No, it ain't. It's not. That private profiteers like Serco, Richard Branson, Care UK, Ramsey, see they've done the deal down there at the House of Lords. They're officials. They're on the directors. And in there you've got the officials and the media is the tool. But the machine, the machine, the people that, 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 that the skull duggery, the skull fuckers, <laughs> they're in the banks. They're the ones in the banks. The private equity firms, the ones that want to profit, the ones that will profit. And today I got the, the pig and I'm pushing it. It's, it's a long way. It's a long way on my hands and knees. I've got the knee pads and I've got some supporters. Where's Daddy's pig?
so it seems just taking a little rest break. Uh, Oh yeah, Mark's just there. He's doing some schmoo schmoozing and uh, talking to people who are interviewing him. We're about to uh, start heading down the Strand, which will be this very long, long leg down the Strand, down Fleet Street into the City of London, past St Paul's. Interesting historical note, because I know you, like, uh, you guys like little historical nuggets. There's an archway behind me. It's called the Admiralty Arch. And I think quite apt to do with this whole affair. Um, it's got a Latin inscription. Anno Decimo Edwardi Septimi Regis Victoriae Reginae. Sevis Gratissimi, and then a date, 1910. It basically says that Edward VII had it built in thanks to his mother, Queen Victoria. Gratissimi, it means in thanks, but of course, gratis is also sort of free. So he's saying, thank you, and it was free. Well, it wasn't free, was it? Uh, in fact, they taxed heavily the people in order to buy it, and he bought it uh, to say thank you to his mother, not thank you to the people who bought it. So I would think quite an apt place to uh, start the second leg of this long, long, long journey down the Strand. Going to go into the city of London, down Fleet Street.
like last night, and I wonder if they mentioned anything about the fact that they should be brought up. It's a controlled demolition of the education system. So the private profiteers come in, just like the NHS. They, they, they've been privatising sectors of the NHS for years. Fertility treatment, ice, uh, opticians, everything that you've had to go and, 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 and they get money from the government for that. But now, now Jeremy Hunt, the auctioneer, shutting down A&E departments, collapsing them. Last night in the news night, they're talking about it being on a precipice, the edge, it can't cope anymore. How is, how is that? And then, and then, and then when, they, when they put money into schools and hospitals through these, these criminal PFIs, they get a thousand percent. The bankers, the bankers rule the world. This isn't just about the nasty party, the whole world. Austerity is, 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 is under the cloak of austerity. It's the shock doctrine.
today with my friend Jamie, who's a fireman. Yeah. 520 jobs, 12 fire stations. They sold off the fire engines for two pounds. When is enough enough? How much do these bankers need? Wanted him easy, Mervyn King, we've got Mark Carney coming here from Goldman Sachs, who this morning said he can't wait to start bringing money. He can't wait. He said the Japanese are doing it. Where's Daddy's pig? Where's Daddy's pig? Where's Daddy's pig? I'm going to go over here now and I'm going to talk to a banker and I've got some questions for him. Yeah. Well, everyone, we're making it today. It's really man. funny, they have to send everything down, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They have to send it's scary. everything down. It's scary. We're scared. There's people talking, hold on, hold on. There's an activist yeah. talking to a banker outside the Bank of England. That's petrifying for some, isn't it? We just got done there for Baker blocking the road, didn't we? Did we not? 